So is it my thyroid or is it my adrenals? Something we hear all the time. I'm Dr. Carrie Lam and this is Dr. Michael Lam. So what do you think? Um, now, why is, is it my thyroid or is it my adrenals? Well, it could be either one or it could be both. This is such a confusing area and this is perhaps one of the most challenging aspects that we deal with in our work because most of the people don't understand the compartmentalization approach is to kind of focus, oh, uh, you have a thyroid problem, especially if the laboratories are kind of marginal, but nobody really pays attention uh, that they can have an adrenal component. Mm. So what do the labs usually show? Well, uh, a normal person who complained of weakness go to see their doctors will have a TSH done, free T3 done, free T4 done, mm -hmm. make sure they're not anemic. And most of the time, this will be normal. The TSH may be kind of borderline, the free T3 may be borderline low, and uh, the, the uh, antibodies may be high. So the common diagnosis uh, that conventional medicine give uh, is uh, a kind of a low function or Hashimoto's, you see? And so based on that track, uh, prescription is given for a thyroid replacement. So you're saying that even people that have a thyroid diagnosis could have something going on with their adrenals? Well, the way you know uh, is that um, if you indeed have a primary thyroid problem and you're on thyroid replacement, you should feel fantastic and your doctor would be very happy and you would be very happy. So if you are on thyroid replacement and somehow you're not quite there or you need more and more over time or you become wide but you still are fatigued, uh, sleep onset insomnia, uh, these are all the signs that, hey, maybe you have to back up and take a look. Maybe there's another component involved that is not just the thyroid alone that causes your symptoms. So why would your thyroid labs be a little off when you have an adrenal issue? Are they related to each other? Well, the, the, our, our body is regulated by not only hormones and organs, but there are highways that connect these hormones. So for example, the HPA axis, which is the hypothalamic pituitary uh, adrenal axis, uh, causes the body's ability to deal with stress. There is another axis, for example, that's called the ovarian adrenal thyroid axis. It's like a triangle. It basically connects the thyroid glands, the adrenal glands, as well as the ovaries. So if you have something that is uh, not functioning too well in the uh, thyroid system, it can attract, uh, directly affect the adrenal system and also affects the ovarian system as well. That's why a lot of people that can have thyroid issues uh, from many different sources uh, can have menstrual irregularity, they can fatigue, they have intolerance to um, medications, etc., and they have cortisol imbalances. It's almost like you have uh, three legs of a stool. If one leg is not well balanced, then it's almost impossible to sit very comfortably. So what should this um, person watching our video do um, to find out if it's their thyroid, is it their adrenals, or is it their ovaries? Well, the first thing you do if you're on thyroid medication is to go back to your doctor and tell them your problem. You know, they may have to redo the laboratory test. And if the laboratory test come back normal and you still feel not so good and the doctor wants to increase your medication, you ask why. You know, you may want to take a second opinion, talk to someone who has maybe a, a, a different perspective, you know, to give you some ideas that, hey, there may be other things that's causing, but you don't want to miss this. It's so easy uh, to just be on a medication one after another. But over time, you know, we've seen so many people that have their thyroid uh, replacement, but they don't get better. This is the problem. You see what I'm saying? If they get better, then there's no reason uh, to change. Hmm. Yeah, so make sure you give us a thumbs up if you think it's a thyroid issue or an adrenal issue. Put it in the comment below and we can answer any questions that you have. Yeah, remember the body is a whole unit. If you try to compartmentalize it, then oftentimes it does not work well. Right. Okay, so if you have any questions, make sure to call our office at 626-571-1234. We're here to answer your questions. Yeah, and I have also written extensively uh, on this matter in the website with the ovarian adrenal thyroid axis imbalances, you know, how estrogen, progesterone, testosterone can all play into this, how thyroid, subclinical thyroid problem, primary, secondary, and a lot of these materials are available on the website for you to read. Uh, ask me questions, write to me, and I'll try to help you the best I can. All right, thank you.